Good afternoon, I'm Kirsten Neese, the Director of Marketing for Cornerstone Homes. We're out here this afternoon for our third in the series for health and wellness here in January 2021. We're out at the barn at Chickahominy Falls at Woodside Farms. With me today, I have Lori Dietz. She's a fitness instructor and has worked with us at other projects. And we're, she's actually been featured on Tuesdays at 2 as well, mm -hmm. um, way back when we started last year. And we're thrilled to have you back again. Well, thank you, Kristen. Thank you for inviting me and, and bringing me back in. I'm excited to be down here in Richmond. Yes, and so over the last year, there's been a lot of change for everybody in fitness and everything. And Lori's moved down to the Richmond area from Fredericksburg and um, things have changed with fitness. But tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got involved with um, teaching and educating people about being well through fitness. I agree. Thank you. Thank you. Well, for over 20 years, I've been a health and PE teacher, um, teaching children, and a uh, lot of changes in my life. And I said, you know what? It's time to change. Instead of teaching children, it's time to teach adults how to exercise, how to love exercising, how to feel good about themselves with exercise. Um, and um, so I redirected my efforts. I actually got started at a YMCA in Fredericksburg and uh, started teaching there and loved what I did. Um, but I realized there was so many people that just wanted a better quality of life and they'd walk into a room and go, I have no idea how to use this equipment. Um, and so one of my jobs as I first got started is to actually just teach them how to do the equipment. But then I wanted more of that one-on-one -on -one with people. So I started with the American College of Sports Medicine. Uh, I got a certificate in personal training with them. And I also reached out for the Functional Aging Institute and received a uh, certification through them also. So with all of that, um, I realized that you know people really do, especially when you get to be our age. Well, I shouldn't right. say that about you, Kristen, <laughs> but at least me. I'm, I'm, there. I'm 62 years old, and people really want that one-on-one. -on -one, really want to learn how to move and feel better about themselves. Mm -hmm. um, and so I started Are You Hip, which is my LLC uh, company. Um, I work with a lot of people that need rehabilitation. Maybe they're getting ready for surgery. Maybe they've just had surgery. They want to get back into things. Or people that just want a better quality of life. Right. Um, if you come to me and say, you know, I want to be bodybuilding in the next couple of years, I'm like, I have somebody else for you. Right. I mean, that's right, right. just not my thing. I like people to just feel better about the way they move and the way they, you know, approach life. and. And some things just don't get any easier as you get older. Well, it's so funny you say that. I remember, gosh, my kids were little, so it was 10, 15 years ago, I watched on the Today Show, and I think it was Al Roker. They put him in a suit that made him feel like he was 80 years old. And it was so funny and so restrictive, and goggles, and the peripheral vision that goes away. But yeah. just the motion of like walking, or reaching into the cabinet, or sitting down, or, you know, yeah bending over to pick something up, that all changes and your balance changes. Um, my kids are yep. joke with me, like, let's do a cartwheel, let's do a handstand when we're out on the beach. I'm like, yeah, that doesn't work so well for yeah, me anymore. No, yeah. So all of that <laughs> does yes, change as you does. age and you it have does. to learn to live with your body that way and continue to keep it moving. So exactly. I, and, learn, and learn about it. So a new concept that I learned uh, through the Functional Aging to do this term of proprioception. And you're like, well, what the heck is proprioception? So proprioception is, what is my body doing? Mm -hmm. And as we get older, we put something down on a counter, or we take a step, and then we trip. Or it misses the counter, and we're like, well, how did that happen? I, I was pretty sure I set it there. So again, what we think our body is doing and what it's actually doing sometimes can be two different things. Okay. But to train it to actually, and there's ways to train it to get more in touch with what it's doing. I guess, I, as a grandma, I look at my one-year-old and, mm -hmm. and, and one-and-a-half-year-old and how he's moving um, and how he's just stepping on the toys. He doesn't step over them because he hasn't figured out how his foot does that yet. Right. And tripping on things or go to put something down and totally misses it. Yeah. <laughs> and I think he's learning how to get there, but then at a certain age, that starts to deplete. And we have to teach ourselves again that how that to is keep that. yep that's perfectly normal but here's how and I'm going to And it's super cute for a 1 year old but not so cute for a not, 65 year old. Not so cute for a 60 no no it's not you know and and we want to feel better we want to be confident when we're out doing something. Right. So uh, and there's just little And safe you know. when you're in your home and not maybe have somebody around with you all the time you know you don't want to fear that you're going to fall and hurt yourself and not have somebody Exactly. find out. Exactly. Um so 
as it is the beginning of 2021 and we focused on health and wellness, what do you recommend from a fitness perspective? What are your tips to help people you know, be fresh and start the new year in a healthful way? Exactly, thank you. Um, well, the number one thing is, what is it you want? You know, is it, uh, you wanna learn how to eat better? Do you wanna feel better? Um, do you wanna be able to move better? Mm -hmm. You know, what is it exactly you want? Get real with yourself. Um, and that's the second part of that is, get real with yourself. Right. Um, do I have the time to do that? Am I willing to put the effort into that? You know, most of it, I think we're at an age when we get older where we know it's not a quick fix anymore. You know, I'm not right. gonna do that diet that's just gonna take the pounds off for that four to six weeks and then, you know. Um, and that's the last part of my tip is, whatever resource you go to, make sure it is legit. There's so many fad exercise programs, there's so many fad diets out there, there's so many fads that mm -hmm. some people can really get wrapped up into, and you realize it sometimes hurts you more than it actually helps you. Right, yeah, you definitely don't wanna be on that yo-yo. You yeah. need to be steady, whether it's you decide you're gonna exercise one day a week, or two days a week, or three or five, you know, what it, whatever it is, to yeah. be consistent with that and follow exactly. through with your... And know your limitations. Mm -hmm. You know, what are my limitations, if you have any? So those would be my three biggies to really concentrate on so i always like to ask, ask this if you so, had one thing that you could you would, you would do every day what would it be and why well for me that's a no-brainer i do stretching but part of my stretching program and it's only a 10 and 15 minutes after my cup of coffee in the morning when i finally wake up um, i do a stretching program but mine is also built with strength involved so it stretches me out I mean, with degenerative discs in my neck and my lower back, I've got arthritis in my hip and my hand. You know, I'm almost embarrassed to say these things. I've got right. a knee that's probably due to be replaced in the next year or two. I don't look forward to those surgeries. And I want to be ready when they come so my rehab is, is going to be much so much shorter. So for me, there's mornings I get up, and even though I have a brand new bed and it's wonderful and awesome, I still have a hard time moving around. My back is tight, my knees are tight, my hand doesn't like to move. So I do this 10 or 15 minute uh, stretching program. Now that's on top of maybe a weight pro exercise thing that I'm gonna do later on, or the, I do two miles every other day walking, um, just to keep me, you know, I always say it's quality of life. Right. You know, I have grandbabies, I wanna try to keep up with them. Sometimes, some, are, some days are better than others. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I want good quality of life. Do you have any tips for people to keep them accountable for like getting up every morning and stretching or doing those two mile a day walks? What, what would you suggest are good ways for people to hold themselves accountable? Because so many of the gyms today are closed and you know you can't, or you might not have a relationship with a great instructor like yourself. So yeah. um, what do you recommend? I really, it has to do with your own personality. So many people are, I mean, on my phone, my calendar on my phone, and they put in whether you're working or part-time working or doing volunteer work, you've got a time slot. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, by writing it down, tomorrow, that night before you go, tomorrow at 10 o'clock, this is what I'm gonna do. When I get up in the morning, this is what I'm gonna do. So they actually see it in front of them, because some people like to make that little check, I've done right. that. Um, so for some people, that works really well, is to actually do, or have a partner. Yeah, you know, have a have a walking. Don't want to leave that walking partner yeah. out there in the cold. Let me tell you, with COVID, and I was sharing with this with you earlier. Before COVID, I was teaching five water aerobics classes, three fitness classes. I had eleven personal clients that I was working with. I was always moving. Mm -hmm. With COVID, I'm not in the pool anymore. I don't do the group classes. I do do uh, do do. That sounds terrible. <laughs> um, I am still working with several of my clients virtual um, right. over the internet. Uh, or with Zoom, et cetera. But for me, it's like, ah, oh, like, where's my accountability? I'm not teaching these things anymore. Right. So I have a friend and we get together every other day and we do our walking together. Um, and it's like, oh wait, are you gonna be there at 10? Yes, I'll be there at 10. You know, she's my accountability it's person. It's great physical, yep. you know, activity. And also I, fi I find when you're with a friend, there's always, you know, connectivity and emotional support and other things. You just yeah. happen to talk about all kinds of yeah. things. Which and you is start great. chit chatting and you realize, oh, we've done our two miles. Oh, okay, let's go. Yeah, home. let's go, we're all yeah. set. Yeah. Um, so you are a big instructor and you've created a, this incredible program, which I love. And I think about my mother-in-law falling in my house and tripping over a carpet almost um, 70 
uh, eight years old, mm -hmm. and she came within an inch of hitting her head on my coffee table, and mm. thank goodness she didn't because she learned how to fall. There you so, go. So yes. um, I want you to explain a little bit about your class, about that, and your your. Your program. I would be happy to. So through the Functional Aging Institute and also my background through the American College of Sports Medicine, um, I realized that the number one fear of people over the age of 60 was falling. Mm -hmm. And we're all going to do it. I mean, it's sad to say, but we're all going to do it. So my theory was, why not teach people, A, how to prevent it, but also how to get ready to fall. Nobody wants to fall. So if you get ready to fall, and you're aware of what's gonna happen when you fall, mm -hmm. and you know what your body should do when you're getting ready to fall, you may fall, but you're not gonna break major body parts. I mean, that's the goal. Exactly. Not to hit your head, not to bust a not hip. Not to rip your shoulder open. Exactly. Um, so it is a multi-dimensional program that I put together that uses balance, flexibility, strength, also the awareness of those proprioceptors mm -hmm. um, and how we're doing it. Um, one of my comments I make, and many of my clients remember that is, do you want to fall like a tree or would you rather fall like a bush? I personally would rather, if I'm going to go down, I want to go down as a bush. I want right. to be as close to that ground as I can be when I finally make contact with it. Exactly. And, and I don't want to break major body parts. Um, so I presented it to um, a small community, mm -hmm. and I also volunteered at Mary Washington College, uh, Washington Hospital, excuse me. So I offered my program, FLIP, to the volunteer program, and they were so excited. So the first program we did, I had um, HR people coming down from the hierarchy of Mary Washington Hospital watching, actually part of and getting involved in the program. Fantastic. We had over, had over 25 people. And if it wasn't for COVID and my move, I would still be up there teaching, teaching because they wanted me to, to come back at least two more times and invite other people of the hospital as part of these programs. So it was very, I was tickled and it was very, very successful. Yeah. Well, and that's what I, I want to mention is that we are going to re-engage with you and um, right. we are going to get some programs set up with um, cor through Cornerstone Homes and do a virtual um, fitness classes and we can do the flip classes and offer those um, with you and Great. we'll be sending out emails to all of our um, homeowners and if you're interested in that sort of thing please make sure that you contact Lori through the comments in the Facebook post mm -hmm. and she will reach out with you as well but um, this is something that we feel you know that our listeners Great. want to yeah. know more about and want to be engaged with and so um, we'll be setting up some classes and offering Great. that out to everybody and get uh, information out to everyone within the coming weeks. So Perfect. Um, I think it'll be great and I look forward to um, working with you again. I look forward to it myself. Thank so, you, Kirsten. Um, this has been fantastic. We really have enjoyed having you up here at Thank the you. barn. Um, we've always you know, had you more regularly over at Barley Woods in Fredericksburg, but now mm -hmm. that you're in the Richmond area, yeah. it's nice to have you here. and. Mm -hmm. um, I know that all of our viewers are going to be excited about getting involved in your classes. So. Well, I'm excited to be here. Thank you. Thank you for sharing.